be fair, I didn't buy any more. Like, oh, wait, it's a one to one. If you need any FIFA 19 Ultimate Team coins, check out MuleFactory.com. They're cheap and reliable, very, very fast serviced, and also use my discount code IHAS5 when checking out to get a decent discount. What is up? Welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. And in this video, I'm going to be going over the first player of the month for FIFA 19, Lucas Mora. So if you find this video interesting or it helped you guys, then make sure to slap a like on this video and subscribe to the channel because I'm covering every single SPC on FIFA 19. I did the marquee matchups yesterday if you guys have not seen that one yet. But here we have the Lucas Mora SBC. He's 86 rated, 94 pace. That new player of the month card looks sick. And yep, I guess we're going to get into it. So the price for this SBC I'd recommend is about 50,000 coins. So I think it's worth doing. I guess it is a disadvantage the card is a non-rare. But for the actual stats you get on the card and it looks pretty cool. So it's about 50,000 coins and you do get packs back from it. And from the packs actually you probably get about 50k near worth in packs. Anyway, so Premier League, the very first challenge. This one, pretty simple. You basically just needed a maximum of three nationalities. So Premier League, most of my players in my club were English, so most of my squad here is English. So I'm just going to run through the team. This one, well, all of the challenges here, no loyalty, no position modifiers, nothing needed. So in goal here, we have Tom Heaton. Across the defence, we have Alexander-Arnold. We have Keane, Rudiger, and then Baines in the left-back position. My two CDMs is my second nation of Spain, so I've got Ibora there, and actually I've got Romu, Romu in the actual other CDM. Rudiger was my third nationality, again, it was just a player I had in my club. Easy to slot him in there, and he doesn't cost too much. Also, he was one of the rare players. And then in the middle, I've got Milner in the first camp position. Then we do have Wilshere here, linking up with Henderson, who is my third rare player. He's an 82 to get that rating bumped up. And in the striker position, we have Lucas Perez finishing off the squad. So again, Premier League, very simple. We get a jumbo premium gold pack. So a decent pack there for like what we actually paid. It's sort of worth it. So here, Tottenham Hotspur, we need two Spurs players here, four Premier League players, and we get a rare gold pack from this one. So again, my Spurs players going into this were players I already had in my club. So my Spurs player was our Aurier in the right back. And then I do have Sissoko in the middle. To like get the chemistry with them, my one of my, my three out of my four Premier League players, I've got Yarmolenko in the right mid position. And then up top, I do have Giroud. So again, his 82 bumps up that rating. The French chemistry gets links with Sissoko and the rest of the team, which I did for France. And he was my fourth Premier League player. So I'll run through the whole team. So in goal here, we do have Mandanda. He's to get that rating up. Then we have Aurea in the right back position. Matthew and Rami in the two centre-backs. We have Relisson in the left-back position. My CDM here is Nzonzi, again, for the French chemistry. In the right mid is Yarmolenko. My two centre-mids are Sissoko and Vertu. And then in the left mid position is the left wing of Valbuena. And then finishing off the squad is Giroud up top. Also, if you're looking at buying all of the players for this SBC, like all at once, you will need two, like you need to buy Matthew twice if you're wondering. So yeah, he's used in another challenge later on. But that's the Tottenham Hotspur challenge completed. We do in fact get a rare gold pack. And then here, Brazil, this one, three Brazil players, maximum four players from the same league. And we get a gold players pack with this one. So fingers crossed, hopefully, when I open my packs, I do get something good. So my players from Brazil, I actually have quite a few in this challenge. They haven't really gone up too much in price, so it's pretty simple. Again, the harder part in this challenge was getting that 82 overall rating and the max four players from the same league. So going through the squad here, in goal, I do have Diego Lopez. My defense, we have Raul Albiol, the center back. He's actually in the right back position. Then we have Arbilla and then Bartra in the actual center backs. And then at the left back position is the centre back here of Felipe. So 83 to keep that rating up. In the right mid is the right wing card of Suso. You don't need to convert him. Do not worry about that. And then the centre mid is Illa Ramadi. I think, I can't really say his name. It's long enough, but you guys get it. And then I have Hernanes there in the left centre mid. And in the left mid, Brazilian of Bruno Cesar. Then my two strikers, I have Jonas here in the left striker. And in the right striker is Soares. And that is finishing off the squad for Brazil. 
So if you ever find some non-rare cards or some cards that are a bit expensive more than you're thinking, literally just snipe them. You can search them on the market for a bit and get them for 200, 300, sometimes even a thousand coins cheaper than their minimum buy now if you're a bit short on coins or you want to do this SPC like even cheaper. If you snipe every player, you could probably do this SPC for like 30,000 coins, which is so, so cheap for the card you get. And here is the last challenge, player of the month. So maximum three players from the same league, four players from the same nation, and just all gold players. That is it. No rares, no ratings. And you can see there is a gap in my squad. That is because I need to actually go and get my other Matthew card, which was on my transfer list. So I'm just going to go and grab him, put him back into the squad, and then we can complete the last challenge. So yeah, if you're going to buy every single player from my solution, you'll need to buy Matthew twice if you are wondering. So again, Lucas Mora. Here we are back to player of the month challenge. And then I'll just slot in this last player in center back. Where is he? 81 rated. And now our team is complete. So in goal here is Beto. He has about five parts to his name, but yeah, it's Beto in goal. In the right back position is Sakai. In the center back, we have Rolando linking with Matthew, of course. And then in the left back position here is Jefferson. To get that chemistry with the Lucas Moura brick card, sort of, I've gone for Luis Gustavo. He also gets that Marseille link up for the chemistry. And then in the left CDM, I've got Petrovic. Again, getting the link in the actual Portuguese league. And then finishing off the squad, Premier League players, all English to get those strong links. We have Cook in the cam position. Well, it's centre mid, but he's playing cam. We have Grealish in this cam. And then up top here, finishing off the team is Glenn Murray. And that is the final squad player of the month. We actually get a kit. I didn't even notice that. We get the EPL2 home kit. So a pretty nice kit from doing the SPC. And here we have it. Player of the month, Lucas Mora completed. And there is the card we do in fact get. Those stats, 94 pace, 89 dribble, 83 shot, 83 pass. If only he was a striker. Like I'll, I'll end up playing him as right forward. And I did not know this was a thing we actually get like a walkout animation for our player of the month card. That is pretty cool. I did not actually know they would do that. But yeah, decent decent add-in from EA this year. Fair enough. You get your own board drop walkout for doing an SBC. So that's pretty cool. And then, so, okay, I'm not selling him. I will keep him in the club. And the kit I'll put in the club as well. So now we have the four packs. Hopefully we can get something good in one of them. Like, imagine we get... Oh, yeah, because new one to watches are out as well, so we could actually get a decent pack pool. Like, imagine we get a player worth over 50k. We actually would have made profit on the SPC. But to be fair, I didn't actually buy... I only bought, like... Oh, wait, it's a one to watch. France, left mid. Wait a minute. Lamar. Ah, uh, okay. I will happily take that. That's quite funny. He must be worth a bit, surely. That was the like uh, one of the three rares in the pack. Lamar, he's... <laughs> Thanks, EA. I just made profit on this SPC. Like, I only bought about 20k worth of players anyway. But we just packed one to watch Lamar on the SPC. So, thank you very much. Literally, I was just saying, like, imagine we get a player worth over 50k. We get it in the first pack, and that was just a rare gold pack. Wait, no, it wasn't. That was just a gold... I don't... That was just a premium gold pack. Literally, their pack odds is like under 0.1% chance to get a one to watch. And we go and get one in the premium goal pack. And the one to watch is Lamar. Like, it, he isn't even like one of the bad ones. Lamar is one of the better ones you could actually get. So, this pack, nothing really. I'll just put that on the transfer list. I guess I'll go for the Jumbo Premium goal pack. Imagine we get another ones to watch. Or if that could have been that Ronaldo card. Oh my god. Oh. Oh, I know. Oh, yeah, it is a ball drop. Who is it going to be? Spain. Centre mid. Oh, it's um, Thiago. 86 rated. Another walkout. What are these packs? Like, these are the best packs I've had on FIFA 19 so far. 86 Thiago. How much is he worth? Like, 15k? 14k? I'll take it. I'll put him on the transfer list. Can we... No way we're going to get free walkouts. Like, I haven't even had a walkout up until this point on FIFA. The Lucas one is like, it's a guaranteed... It's another ball drop. Who is it going to be? Spain. Goalkeeper. 
Athletica. Okay, we get Adan. If it could have been like the hay or something, that would have been absolutely mad. But still, getting ones to watch Lamar. That's a decent pack, actually. 282s, 83. Oh, it's all rares, I guess, and consigli. I'll put them on the transfer list. Well, if anything off that, 100% do this SPC if you get the packs that I've got. I probably made about 40,000 coins doing that SPC, and I got that Lucas card, so that was absolutely insane. But let me know in the comments down below what players did you get in your packs. Fingers crossed there should be an episode of Trading to 1 Million out tonight. It's going to be a late one because I had to squeeze this video out and then I need to edit Trading to 1 Million to get it out after it. But, yep, thank you guys for watching. I hope you did enjoy and I'll see you on my next video.